What's going on, church fam? It's Church Life bringing y'all another video. I pray y'all are having a blessed day. So, the Heavenly Father placed something in my spirit to let someone know that this spiritual warfare that you're currently going through right now is not random. See, the enemy is attacking you with intrusive thoughts because you finally made up in your mind to let go of certain stuff that was attached to an old lifestyle. Whenever you're on the right path, the devil will try to interfere with your progress as you move forward because he want to keep you from stepping into your destiny. And the first way he does this is try to weaken you down by attacking your mind because his primary goal is to break us down mentally in order for him to try to manipulate our thoughts to make us believe there's another way that's outside of Lord Jesus. And that's why the words say in James 1 verse 12, Blessed is the man that endured temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. So that's why sometimes it can feel like we're stuck at a spiritual crossroad, because the spiritual warfare can become so bad that it causes us to want to get off the path of righteousness. And the moment we start thinking those thoughts, that's when the enemy will try to present a alternate route and it will always lead to some sort of destruction that's why we got to endure the pain and suffering because god has deliverance for you if you decide to remain on the path of righteousness but if you don't remain on this journey and you decide to take what the enemy is offering he seeks to destroy you the bible say all he does is kill steal and destroy He's a roaring lion that's ready to devour you. See, most of the time when we're facing a spiritual battle, that's what the enemy will use to try to cause us to have unbelief in our heart, mind, and soul. Because when you have unbelief, that's what make us not have faith. Because faith means to have complete trust, complete confidence in the power of Christ. So if the enemy can make you have unbelief in your heart, it opens up the doors to him attacking your mind with intrusive thoughts. There was a certain guy in the Bible that had a son that was being tormented by the devil. At first, the guy went to the disciples for help, but the disciples couldn't cast this devil out. They couldn't rebuke it. Nothing they did worked. So the guy found Lord Jesus and he told them what happened. He said he went to the disciples for help and they tried to do what needed to be done, but it didn't work. So Lord Jesus said, oh, faithless generation. And then he rebuked the devil and cast him out of his son. And his son was cured that very hour. So the disciples asked Lord Jesus, why come it didn't work for us? And... Lord Jesus said in Matthew 17, verse 20, and Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. After Lord Jesus taught them the reason of why it didn't work, he taught them how to grow spiritually. In Matthew 17, verse 21, how be it, this kind go not out, but by prayer and fasting. So as you continue to grow spiritually, I want to leave you with this. A lot of times why it don't seem like the word of God is working in our lives is because we don't properly pray and fast. You never built a house that didn't have a door you can lock. So we got to always make sure our foundation is properly built. So when those storms come or when the enemy start attacking, not only do we got the full armor of God on, but we know how to defend ourselves because our foundation is laid out properly. See, we can apply the word of God to our lives all day long. But if we have unbelief in our heart, that's what's going to cause us not to have faith. 
So the last thing I want to read is Matthew 7, verse 24 through 27. Therefore, whosoever hear these sayings of mine and do them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And every one that hear these sayings of mine and do them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which build his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. The only way to overcome spiritual warfare, especially when you come to a point in your life that you are now ready to change, is to believe on Lord Jesus. He's the word of God. He's our answer prayer for our salvation so that we may be forgiven. He's the love of God. He's the reason why we can now have a relationship, an even stronger relationship with the Heavenly Father. And we fast to increase his spiritual presence in our heart, minds, and soul. So if you want to develop a defense system, against the enemy that's now attacking you because you have now put an end to your old existence so that you may step into the new creation that you have found in Christ. Believe. That's the moral of the whole story. Don't walk by sight. Walk by faith. Because the enemy can deceive your eyes. But he can't deceive the truth. Lord Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And the Bible say, vengeance is the Lord's. So because we have a relationship with Lord Jesus, God is going to fight our battles. Because God is not going to lose what's his. It was the heavenly father that pulled you out of the crowd in order for you to change because he has a great calling over your life. And you might not believe it right now. You might can't see it, but it's not what we see. It's what we believe. It's who we have faith in. Because remember what I said? Faith means to have complete confidence in the power of Christ. That's why God can use you for his will because of who is now on the inside of you. That's Christ. That's empowered by the Holy Spirit of God. Continue to have faith and believe. Believe. Because that's why this spiritual warfare is happening. The devil is trying to cause unbelief in your heart. And unbelief is the only thing that can strip faith away from us. Don't let unbelief crack the foundation that Lord Jesus has built for us. Keep striving to be more Christ-like every single day because God got you. I pray this word bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. And oh yeah, continue to believe and have faith.